Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this edition of The Spartan Show. On this episode we visit with head swimming coach Mike Kroll along with swimmer Shelby Kell and Christian Poole to look back at the Wilmington duel and discuss the remaining January schedule. We will also chat with assistant men's basketball coach Mason Wood and men's basketball player Adrian Johnson to get an update on the basketball season so far. Stay tuned. Coach Kroll joins us now. Coach, the men's and women's swim teams have been in action during the Jan term. Can you start by giving us a glimpse back at the recent Wilmington College Jewel? Yeah, it was a great meet for us uh, to get up and race. It's the first time that we've been in action since December 2nd. Um, so we've had a lot of training since then and with the break, so it was just good for us to get up and race um, and to see where we're at right now. So. And uh, with just two more meets uh, for the team before the HCAC championships, uh, what do you feel the team needs to do in order to carry some momentum into February competition? I think first and foremost with these two upcoming meets, uh, we have an a tri-meet with Anderson and Olivet this weekend, um, which in the past has been one of the, a really great meet for us. Um, all three teams are very similarly uh, sized and performance-wise. Um, so it's just a really fun meet to get up and race um, and to try and pull together a win for both sides. And then with the following meet with Urbana, um, this is the first time that we've had that meet in the end of the season. Typically in the past it's been in no November. So that one also has been a fun meet for us to just have some fast swimming and we're evenly matched with them also. So look, at, it should be a great way to end the season going into the championships and then the second thing that we have to do as a team is just to trust the process. Um, we put in a lot of work over the season and we just have to trust the process as we get into the championship meet and get ready to swim fast. Alright, well thank you for joining with us. Thank you for having me. First year Shelby Kell and sophomore Christian Poole now join us. Let's start by just having both of you look back at the season so far. What uh, have some been some positives coming from this year? Well, I know for the girls team, we've been struggling with some records, in particular one of our relays, and I think the incoming freshmen have really helped achieve both individual and the relay records, so as a whole team on the girls' side, we're getting faster. Mm -hmm. um, I think overall that we're like getting better as a team, we're like, you know, uh, clicking better, having a lot more fun, uh, just overall, and like she said, like everybody's improving their times, getting records, it's all it's just fun. All right, and uh, you have two meets before HCAC action in February, so uh, what are each of you looking to gain out of the next few events? I know for me, I just want to improve as much as I can before we go into our conference. I want to work out some of the flaws that I still have in my strokes and just really make sure it's down pat before conference. Uh, really, uh, this weekend we're going against uh, Anderson and Olivet, and since Anderson's in our conference, it's a good time to see some of the competition that we have. For February and uh, against Urbana, that's going to be uh, their last meet before conference. So you know, get a chance to have a little bit more fun. Right. And uh, do you have any specific goals you'd like to achieve uh, for conference? I just want to drop time. This is the first year for the HCAC conference, so we don't really know what to expect with the other swimmers. So I just want to go out there, race as hard as I can, and drop time. Uh, I just really kind of want to break the 53 record again, <laughs> and that's uh, probably my biggest goal. I mean, drop time, of course, see everybody do well, everybody, you know, click together, uh, have a good atmosphere, you know, not really have too many down, like bad races or pick each other up, just go out there, break some records. All right, well, thank you for joining with us. This week's highlight package comes from this past weekend's Spartan Matt Classic. Stoffer Wolf Arena welcomed wrestlers and fans of 15 various programs. Spartan fans saw five top eight place finishes for the black and gold, all coming as part of the fifth place team effort in the Classic. Senior Chase Wilson was able to bring home the single first place finish for the Spartans in the 141 pound class. The Spartan wrestlers will next be in action this weekend as they travel to Wabash College for a handful of contests. Now it's time for our Spartan Show MVP of the Week. This week we honor senior wrestler Chase Wilson. Chase won his second Spartan Matt Classic title to help lead the Spartans to a fifth place team finish this past weekend. He wound up his day with a thrilling 3-2 decision in the championship on a takedown as the clock expired. Congratulations Chase. 
Men's basketball assistant coach Mason Wood and junior Adrian Johnson now join us. Coach, let's start with you. Uh, there have been some uh, run a tightly fought contest for the Spartans. Uh, what are some positives the coaching staff has seen as we get into the heart of the season? Well, I think, you know, obviously, you know, the season hasn't gone as, as well as we'd liked it to. But um, I think, you know, the most important thing from, from game to game is that we continue to fight. And, um, you know, a lot of teams at this point in the year, uh, with the, the way things are going, um, would, would probably have quit. But each and every day they continue to come. Uh, to practice, they continue to show up to games, continue to play hard, and that at this point is is uh, is all we can really ask um, is, is to keep competing and 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 keep playing hard. So you know, I, I I looked the other day and and we've lost ten games by ten points or less, and we've lost nine games uh, by seven points or less, and that's a lot of really close games. And so you know that doesn't fall necessarily on on those guys that that's on me and and that's on the rest of the, the coaching staff because you know if you're you're losing games by that we've got to do a better job of, of managing games and stuff so really you know it, it's on us to, to get this thing corrected and and uh, I couldn't be more proud of our players so all right now Adrian you're uh, currently in second in the HCAC for scoring uh, what has made it possible for you to turn out such high numbers this season uh, even though I think I could play better this season uh, I'm confident. I'm confident in our players. I'm confident in my skills. Uh, I worked really hard this summer uh, because I didn't think I played that well last year. And uh, I'm also motivated. Uh, I'm playing for my family this year. So. All right. And uh, for either of you, uh, with a tough three-game road stretch uh, starting in Wednesday, uh, what does your team need to do in order to gain some momentum in these conference contests? You want me to answer? Of course. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think you know you've got to take it one game at a time. So it starts with Bluffton tomorrow, um, and and the thing is, you just they're a really physical team. They're they're undersized. You know, their biggest player is six four, but they're really really physical, really disciplined. Um, not average. I think they're averaging about sixty four points a game. Uh, so they kind of they slow you down and they make you play at their pace. And so you know, with with the game tomorrow, we've really got to play our tempo, and and we're really really good. Uh, when we push the ball and when we use our athleticism and our speed to our advantage in transition. Um, and defensively, you know, the last two games we've held teams under their average by, you know, at least 10 points. And so if we come and execute and do those things that we've been doing uh, the past couple of games, we just got to be able to finish finish plays and finish games out. Uh, we'll be just fine. But it starts with one game at a time, and then, you know, once tomorrow's done, uh, we'll look at the film from tomorrow, and, and we'll move on to Earlham on Saturday. But one game at a time, and, you know, you know, I think uh, we can really go on a run here in these last. We've got 10 games left. We've played everybody. We know everybody in the league. We know what they're going to do. Um, and I would put, to be honest with you, I would. I recruited most of these guys. I put these guys up against anybody in the league. So I, I have the utmost confidence in them. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to the, the second half of the season because I think we can really do, you know, continue to, to, to keep working hard and, and really do something special here these last 10 games. So. Andrew, anything to add? Uh, not really, but like he said, um, we know everybody in the league, and we have we can't play in spurts like we usually have been doing the whole season. And like he said again, uh, we can't um, we can't uh, not finish games like we've been doing all season. So. All right. Well, thank you for joining with us, and good luck. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this edition of the Spartan Show. Be sure to stay up to date with stats, scores, and news at www.muspartans, the internet home for Manchester University. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. To watch our latest video, click the box here. To subscribe to our channel, click this circle.